Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And this video is uh, like a video how you need to get the historic common snook. So I was playing on my level 31 account for my fun leveling series in Florida. And uh, I found a very good spot where you can get the historic common snook. And uh, it's like a system that you need to use because if you use the fireworks, you get one historic fish. You can do it with your buddy too. So if you got a couple of guys around you and you're in a public room and you say you are shooting the first fireworks, get your historic, then the second one is shooting the fireworks. You can do easily the historic achievement. I think it's 100 historic fish. Uh, but I found something very cool how you can farm the historic common snook because I see a lot of people in trouble. Uh, the most people they go to the salty delta because there is the common snook. But with going around on my low level account I found 3-4 better spots that I think are producing a lot of more historic common snook. So how do you need to do it? So this is part I think of the 4th of July mission 5 or 6. If I'm not mistaken, so let's have a look. Um, ah, here it is. 4th of July. Is it 5 or 4? Here it is. So you need to catch a historic common snook using a salute nymph of 10 centimeters. So I got here the Zoys 217, the Kraken 9000, the X Series Fluoro 0.65, Barbel Shikhead 21G30. And I got the salute nymph. So what I'm going to show you guys, you can just reproduce it on the other lakes too. So it's not that you need to come here because on my level 30 account, uh, I'm using the Tora 190. I will get the historic common snook in, but it takes some time because they are given decent experience. They give the same experience as a unique large mount bass. But even with my Tora 119, it takes more time than getting a couple of bass in. So it's not worth it. That's what I want to say. Uh, so this is how you do it. So you come to this peg, uh, the lily pad channel. And then you turn here to the right, and here is the position. So uh, if you look here on my map device, you can see historic common snook. How do you do it? You push J. Here you go. You use one fireworks. One fireworks gives one historic fish. So let it go a little bit, because it can take some time. So now we are going to activate the historic fish. Where can you get the fireworks? You can get the fireworks from raising the flag and from uh, yeah, shooting the cannons. And uh, you just throw here, I do uh, a switching. And normally the fish will be active uh, yeah, right away. And if you get one, you just do fireworks again and you go again. So we will do it now for a brief moment just to show you guys it. That we can get the next one. It doesn't really matter what time you are. Because now I'm on a sunny day. And at the morning it's a very bad uh, time. Because the peak is I think at noon. So it starts a little bit later. Come all the way to your feet. Because sometimes I got one in, in front of me. No. It's a, it's a normal pass. So I was thinking. Okay this is. Okay let's try it again. Because even on this setup, they uh, they give a very good fight, the, the big one. So I just had like a 15 kilogram one and he was fighting on this setup. So uh, they are very good fighters. Yeah, there was a bite. You can see it right away when you get the, the historic one. They bite very hard because the first time that I had it on my level 30 account, I was like, what do I... I first thought it was a gar. And I was thinking by myself, yeah, maybe I need to do Alt F4 because a guard can bite through uh, your uh, your line. Uh, but then I saw it was a snook. And I was like, that's very strange that there is sitting a snook here. But then I remember that it was the 4th of July event. And uh, yeah, it was the historic one.
And is this the one? Yes, this is the one. So it took me three turns. And what we are going to do now, guys, is... Uh, I'm going to get this fellow in. Because the first two, it was like back to back. Uh, so I'm going to get this fellow in. Uh, using the fireworks again. And we go again. So uh, let's have a look. So here comes the historic snook. Here we go. So let's get new fireworks out and let's try it again and let's see how long it takes because this was now the longest time that it uh, took me to get one. Uh, so normally it was like one cast after the fireworks. Maybe I need to throw a little bit faster my lure in the water. So let's have a look that we can get the second one in the video. So here we go again. Is this right to be the historic? Yeah, I think it's historic. So you guys can see, therefore, I wanted to do it two times because uh, it's not always the same. And I was hoping for this. And I think this is a historic one, but you only can get one. What I saw, I already got 10 on my account. It's possible that you get two uh, for a firework, but I never had it. So uh, I'm going to try now one time more because this dude was coming out really fast. But I don't think so. I think one firework is one historic fish. But you need to imagine if you are here with like five buddies. Every firework that you use and your buddies use one, you got five uh, yeah, snooks. And you can see it goes really fast. So I think the 150 uh, yeah, historic fish, you can do it really quick. And you can see right away, I'm not expecting another one, so I need to use the fireworks again. So let's come all the way to the shore. And for the guys that are interested, I found the snagging point too for the cannonballs. So if you turn around here, and you go to here, there is a snagging point here on the, on the reeds. So if you throw here, sometimes it produces like three, four cannons ball after each other. I think they put the cooldown on it, uh, but here is a snack. You can see it. And I think this is a cannon ball. It's not always like that. I need to say that sometimes you get a couple of them and then it's dead. But yeah, just turn around, get some cannon ball, shoot, get fireworks and just repeat it again. So thanks for watching, guys. You can just... Do it on other lakes too. I'm not going to make for every video how you need to do it. Maybe the low level one because I still got four days. And my line is almost uh, through the durability on my leveling account. And I think I go to Mudwater River with my fireworks and try to get 150 historic fish. If I still got the time and if I still make it in time because it's a grind that I need to do, I make a video about that too for the low level guys, how you need to get the challenge 150 historic fish. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.